More than a year ago, I put out a video, how I get into a password protected iPhone. It was actually a BFU extraction, which I explained in the video. It was before first unlock. It wasn't an actual unlock. It was just video that highlights the difference between a locked device and unlocked device and what can be recovered from a locked device using a before first unlock checkmate exploit uh, through Celebrate. In this video, I'm going to definitely focus on getting into a password locked iPhone. This isn't a real case. I'm actually using one of the test phones I have here for the reason being is because the process is very lengthy. So a four digit code will take about a day if you go from zero to 9999, all the combination. A six digit code will, can take up to three months. Anyway, enough of the talking. Make sure you like and share this video. Make a comment below. It helps the channel. I'm not going to bore you with this BS. Let's go in and see how we get into a locked iPhone. All right, here we are. This is the iPhone 6 that we're going to crack the passcode to. You can see there's no trust. There's no key between the computer and the phone. And that's very important. So let's go have a look at the phone before we plug it in. So this is iPhone 6 running 12.5.4. So this method of unlocking is going to work for most phones up to the latest version of iOS unless Apple changes something. So let's lock the screen and plug it in. And you can see the phone still says unlock iPhone to use accessory. Very important. That means there's no key between the phone and the computer. So in the last video, we used Celebrate UFET to get into the phone using BFU. But in this case, we're actually going to use a different program, another forensic tool that can uh, give us option to do this. So we're going to plug the phone in, phone is plugged in, and we got to go in a DFU mode. And the next step was to put the phone in DFU mode. Not gonna lie, it took me a while to put it in DFU mode for some strange reason. I've done it millions of times, but uh, this day, I don't know, it just took me a while. And once that was done, we can start the password cracking. Okay, so the first thing the uh, this forensic software does is extracts all the data from the phone. This took a while. Um, I can't remember exactly. I think it was maybe it was 40 minutes or so. And then uh, once that process was completed, uh, it moved on to the actual password cracking, which took a while. You can see it's this is like 10 times in 10,000 sped up, 10,000 twice sped up. So it's almost 20,000 sped up, and it's and it's going through a lot of passcodes, as you can see. And then after some time, we can see it's decrypting the device. <clears throat> and I made a mistake here. I what I forgot to do is set up my custom um, password cracking. I should have just said start from a thousand go to 1036 because the password was 1035 i said the passcode just for this video so i can show how quickly we can get to a 35 tries uh but i didn't do that for some reason i completely forgot and i just hit start and i didn't want to restart it again so i figured let's just go the way it is i got other other jobs to do anyway so i can just leave it running and cracking the passcode and if you want to send on your phone here for passcode cracking keep in mind we do verify that you are the owner of the phone we're not going to do it just for anybody and also the time it takes it is going to be a lengthy process so four digits will take about a day six digits three months up to three months so just keep that in mind anyway we're almost done here uh the the software is almost done looking for the code itself and in a minute we're gonna see uh the the password once it was found so it went through a, a thing uh, 1200 1200 passcodes in, in in that time so uh, obviously we passed that 10 password limit and here we go uh we see here's the passcode and that's it we got the passcode for the phone now and we can put it in and we can get into it and extract our data so that's it for this video thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and follow me for more videos uh like i said if you want to send in the phone contact me um the emails in the description of this video also, you can go to forensicguide.ca and you can find me through there. We'll see you in the next video.